Hello and welcome to the Wilson 18 tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu Desktop 14.4 with RAID setup. Um, so for this video I'm going to be showing you with uh, RAID 1 on two drives, but you can pretty much apply it to anything you need it to. So just so you are aware of how this is done, you will need to install the SEV version and then upgrade to the desktop version as there is no support for it on the desktop version at the moment. So go over to ubuntu.com and click on server. We're just going to download the ISO. If you've already got it, then you can skip ahead to the next part. So just click download Ubuntu and download this version. Be wary, it's a 64-bit version, so if you do want to do it on a 32-bit version, then um, I'm not really sure how you go about that, unfortunately. So once you've downloaded that, you can then go ahead and bend that to a USB and install it, or however else you want to go about it. And if you are looking for a really good USB installer, then please do check out Universal USB Installer, um, which is at pendrivelinux.com. Definitely the best one out there. Um, so, but once you've done that, you'll be presented with a screen like this. So just continue with the installation as you would any other installation until you get to the bit about disk setup. So once you see this screen, what you need to do is go over to the manual option. You can get to this by using the uh, arrow keys on your keyboard. You will then see something that looks a little bit like this. So these represent the different drives that the machine has detected. As you can tell, this is just a virtual machine and it's only detected two. So what you want to do is go over to each drive, click enter on it and click yes. This is just going to allow you to use the free space on that drive and we can then use that to set up the red. So do this on all the drives you want to use. So the first thing you want to do is press enter on the free space and create a new partition. This first partition we're going to be creating is just the swap area that we're going to be using. So it's recommend that, or recommended that you use no more than two times your uh, current RAM. If you've got a high amount of RAM, like 16, 30, whatever gig of RAM, um, it's best not to use all of that because there's no real benefit beyond that point. So for me, I'm just going to be using 2 gig of RAM, or 2 gig as the swap space, as I only have 1 gigabyte of RAM on here. So click enter, select primary, select beginning, and then where it says use as, press the enter key and scroll down to primary volume for RAID. Once you've done this, select done setting up that this partition. Now you can go over to the other um, block of space within that, so mine's 19.5 gigabytes. Press enter and create a new partition as well. You can either select all of the space or if you want to use custom segments on your drive, so maybe you have one for the root partition, one for var or whatever anything like that then select these here if not just leave it as the remaining device make sure to always um, select the primary volume for this and again go down to physical volume for red and click enter once you've done this do the same for any of the other drives you want to set red with and create the new partition so again two gigabytes of swap primary beginning and read again and click done. The last bit here for me, so that was 19.5, no idea why I just um, decided to delete that, but anyway, back to the read. And once you've done, you should see something that looks a little bit like that. So now we can go to the configure software read. So this is just going to say we're going to be using the following devices for read. Are you happy with this? The answer is yes we are. So now you're going to need to create a new MD device for each of the RAID partitions. So what you should do is select the RAID you want to use. For me this is going to be RAID 1. Press enter. And then you can say how many drives you want to use for this type of RAID. Click enter and how many spare you're going to have. So for me, two drives RAID and zero spare. So you should see here, these are the different partitions that it's detected. So the top one and the third one down is going to be the swap partition. So you can just go ahead and select those. And then do the same for the other block. So once you've done this, click finish. And you should be able to see these are here now. 
So this is going to be the swap. So if you click enter on that and then use as swap should be there. There we are. And click done. And then you can just do the same for the other block as well. So this would be where you'd select any of the other file systems if you want to use those. And just make sure to select the mount point as root. If you don't want to do this, feel free to use any custom partitions or anything like that that you like. But me, I'm just going to leave that as root. Once you've done that, click done setting up partitions. And once you've finished, just go down to finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Click enter and you should see a screen like this. Just click yes. Okay, so that's it for setting up the RAID. So I'm just going to wait for this to complete and then I'll see you at the other end. So once you get to this bit, there isn't really any point in installing any additional software. Um, but for me, I'm just going to install the SSH server as it's quite useful to have that installed. Uh, once you've done that, just click continue and then that will install the any applications you have selected. You may notice at the bottom it does say to install the desktop. However, we're just going to be doing that in a little bit. So you might as well wait for that. So as I said, I'll continue once we get back, uh, or once the installation has continued, so see you there. So now that the installation is complete, you can just go ahead and log into your server. So what you need to do is, we're just going to switch to the root user, um, just to save us having to type in sudo on all the time. So once we've done that, we're just going to quickly update everything or at least just update the list of packages we have available and once we're going to do that we're going to install the Ubuntu desktop package so to do that type in apt get update no apt get install and then Ubuntu desktop if you can actually spell that correctly even though I apparently can't uh, so once you've done that, you'll see a whole list of packages that are ready to be installed. Just click yes. It is about 2 gigabytes, so it will take a while. Um, so just bear with me and I'll see you once that's done. Once that has finished installing, all you have to do is type in reboot, and it will then reboot to the Ubuntu desktop. Um, one thing that I will say is if you do get this error, um, I'm not entirely sure what it's what causes it, I believe it's something to do with the RAID um, and LVM but if you do get the error and you do want to get rid of it um, I do know a quick fix for that so just click on the annotation on the screen and I'll, I'll show you how you can get rid of that um, but don't worry about it, there's no big error or anything like that I think it's just a warning to let you know um, so I'm just going to log in and as you can see we now have the Ubuntu desktop you are more than welcome to go ahead and just do a full update. I'm going to recommend it. Um, I'll even show you how to do it if you like. Just do a search for the terminal. And then we can do sudo apt get update, sudo apt get upgrade. Just make sure to separate that with a semicolon, each of those commands, and then it will start the update process. Um, there shouldn't really be that much to install because it would install the most up-to-date stuff when you originally install the desktop. Um, if you are wondering about the resolution, um, obviously it does look a bit poo, so if you just bear with me I'll get that sorted. So you can do that by going to displays. And then choose the best resolution for your device and click apply and we can keep this configuration even though it does look a bit dodgy it'll eventually straighten itself out there we are so as you can see this is the proper resolution that i should be working at even though it does make everything tiny but there we are we now have ubuntu running with raid if you do want to have a look and see what's going on just go and type in command there we are um type in disk and we want disks to load up so let's try it again just in case no not dick my apologies there we are disks and it is there so you can see it is running in a raid array 
so at least you can rest safely knowing that if one of your drives fails, you've at least still got your data to hold on to. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you do want to see anything else then please do click that like button and let me know what you think in the comments. See you guys, bye!